finally, I got my hands on the biggest game of 2014, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, this iteration of this series has advanced <laughs> the entire genre in multiple ways. We've got AI that's so realistic that by the end of the game, you'll have PTSD. The guns sound, feel, and kill amazing. And the graphics are so good that you might get lost in marveling at them and end up shot. The advancements in the story department are what really stood out to me. You really get involved in the character's struggle, so helping to advance their goal makes it that much more sweet when you get that headshot. Bam! 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 <laughs> Of course, with such a good story, there's bound to be some sections where you have to put your gun down, but thankfully, they're a pleasure to play. My favorite part is instead of battling your foes, you gotta battle traffic. Honk honk, make way! Now, as any veteran FPSer knows, you gotta be able to aim the shot to make the shot. And I'm glad to say that there's absolutely no changes made to the controls at all, so your years and years of practice from the earlier games will translate smoothly, and you'll be popping off shots in no time. Now for the big one, and I do mean big. The introduction of mechs are jarring for a little while, but once you stomp around in these bad boys, you'll be surprised you ever played a COD game without them. Just like in your human form, you've got an entire arsenal of weapons at your disposal, like uh, red lasers, missiles, and green lasers. <laughs> and sometimes, I prefer to just use the mech itself. Sport! Overall, I gotta admit, this is the best game in this series so far. With so many additions to the base gameplay while still retaining that cotty feel. <laughs> but I didn't need to tell you that. You were gonna buy it no matter what I said. Oh, um, and I, I couldn't get the multiplayer to, to actually work, but I'm sure that's gonna be fixed in the first patch. <laughs>